Hi everyone, welcome back to Canary Cast. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Norwich have won again, 2 0 at home to Cardiff this time around. Jacob, we've won again, and in truth, it probably should have been a bigger scoreline than, than just the 2 0. Oh my god, everybody, dear. What? He's just so yeah. enjoyable to watch. Literally put the goal out and just get a load of Arsenal fan pouring in. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he's not going for any money, boys. You could give yeah. us 50. He's not going anywhere. He is so fundamental. Everyone was just brilliant today. Probably Barty with Pookie, who is never yeah. going to score. <laughs> but what a performance. Every, just, yeah, everyone was absolute colossus. Against, let's not forget, like probably a top six contender this year. We made him look average. Absolutely yeah. average. And, I yeah, thought they were quite poor, good. actually. I, yeah, they were poor, very poor. But you know what? We, we some of the movement, the passing, it should, like you say, honestly, it should have probably been four or five. Yeah. It, just poor finishing. But oh, Todd back in, and there's a couple of like moves, the flicks. It's just confidence is sky high at the minute, and it's wonderful to see. There's plenty to be confident about after watching that. Um, let's cast my back to the start of the game because we weren't, we were confident of a win, but very yeah. cautious, weren't we? Especially from set pieces and. Um, you can see why with Harry Wilson in the Cardiff side. And they're just set up for set pieces, aren't they? All their chances seem to come off the back of a set piece. Yeah, I think Sean Morrison probably won every header, but yeah. Grant Hanley finally got to grips with him in that second half and just thought, if you, OK, you're going to win it, but I'm going to batter you before you yeah. actually edit. So it's just not fair <laughs> trouble, Mickey. Yeah, Mickey scared me when uh, when he almost dropped it in. I was like, Mickey, yeah. settle, settle. And then, yeah, that absolute wonder save. What a guy. How has he saved that, that by the way? Saved. Wonderful say again. If Tim Krul makes that save, you're like, that's why he's the best goalkeeper in this league. Yeah. But yeah, I think if Watford next week, if Timmy's back, it's going to be a decision now. Do you go for in form because he is in form, Michael McGovern, or do you go for uh, four weeks out, Tim Krul? But we know he's the best keeper in the league. It's a difficult mm. choice, but a nice Mickey, choice to have. I thought Mickey dealt with the game well today because there were it was a challenge for him. You know, Cardiff got plenty of size. They obviously love set pieces. And he came out and punched balls away at times and you know he grabbed a couple and, and I actually thought he was really good. But for me I think I'd still put Tim Krull back in. That's how the hierarchy works. They both know that and Tim Krull's the better keeper. I certainly feel more confident with him than that. I assume you do too. No, yeah, it's just it is just uh, a nice problem to have. I do kind of feel sorry for McGovern because, like, he just feel looks more confident, especially from that first game. Where he, like he's very tentative against Stoke, you know, a poor concession from a set piece to now, like you're saying, punching, getting Morrison out of the way, getting him out of the way, it's <laughs> yeah. fine. I'm coming and getting it. It's, yeah, he's he's looking a lot better, and um, it's just nice to see that he's he's kind of enjoying himself you know it must be tricky you know obviously he's apparently very good around the dressing room and stuff but it must be tricky for a professional footballer not to be playing and know you're not going to be playing unless there's an injury uh, but he looks like he's enjoying his football at the minute he's he was good um, good enough with his feet today there's no real silly uh, kicks which you know it's just not the same I, I like that he's kind of brought in his own kind of style to it now he doesn't pass out like Tim Cross. the ball's in his hands he's launching it he doesn't <laughs> care <laughs> but yeah he's made it his own and I think he's done really well for the last seven games it was a pretty slow start from both teams today, really, wasn't it? Like the first 20 minutes, I think after the first 20 minutes, Norwich kicked on a bit and, and grew into the game. But from both teams, the first 20 minutes was pretty slow, wasn't it? I think it was very, very clear to see very quickly that the only way Cardiff were going to score was a set piece. Like yeah. they, they didn't open us up at all today. And Christoph Simon and Grant Halley were immense. How many times have we said that Chris, we thought Christoph had gone? We thought he was done, <laughs> finished, League One, League Two, see you later, ship him off. But no, he's come back and he's actually looked really good. I think even with uh, strikers trying to turn him, he looks fine. He looks strong, looks confident in his ability. And Grant Hanley, good God, what a centre-back. Blocks everything, heads it. He doesn't care, that man. He'll throw his body on the line. He's just, I love Grant Hanley so bloody much. He's so good. Yeah, I've sung his praises for what feels like a couple of months now. He's been really, really good. Um, let's talk about the goal, Jacob, because it was a lovely finish from Wendy, wasn't it? <laughs> it makes oh, it look so easy as well. Like you said, mate, the first uh, the first twenty minutes just felt like a real drag. Felt like Norwich were uh, a bit tired, not really feeling it. It was a couple of moves where it was like it's almost you know Todd was feeding in Timo, just dodgy touching and stuff. And then Emmy just goes, you know what? I'm taking this game. It's my game today. It's a yeah. Beats what four men and slots it into the corner. Oh, six goals already for the season. That is impressive from 17 yeah. games, considering he only got one last year. I think he only got eight in the previous championship campaign. So, to be fair to him, if he gets 10 goals this season or 12 double-figure goals, and we know he can get easily 20 assists, mm. 
It's going to be a very, very tricky task to keep hold of him. I'm praying that we just lock him away in January. I've already said, Emmy, I'll give you every every piece of money I have. I'll, I'll remortgage a house. I don't even care about it. What's he going to do with that? I'll do anything. <laughs> Physically anything. Is, nothing is out of bounds. <laughs> just stay. Lock him up, Daniel. I don't care what you do, but we need him to stay. Because he is... You can just see, can't you? You can see how big and important he is. Just... Just the movement. I know he does silly fouls. He gave away a couple of silly free kicks. It probably helps us, to be fair, because uh, they think hey, maybe it's a bit of a risk. But yeah. he, for me, in January, there is no money, not a single amount of money you could offer me that makes us sell him. No, it would be interesting what to see what Stan Stewart Weber takes on it. Because if we're top two, which I'm, let's assume at this point we probably will be, yeah. is it a case of, Emmy we'll probably be in the Prem next year ourselves. You know you're going to start here every week. You should stay. And... Then the other half of me thinks, well, if it's Arsenal that are sniffing about him, they're not in the best space at the minute anyway. So I'm cautiously optimistic we'll still have him come February, to be honest. How about you? I just worry about his mental state. That's the only thing, because, you know, in the summer, he seemed, well, he was apparently off it. Of course, Daniel Farker, who knows him far better on the training pitch than we are. And there was no interest. If Arsenal put a shitty bid in, which is more than possible, 10, 15 million, I can see it happening now. Does he throw the toys out of the pram? Hopefully not. He seems mm-hmm. focused. He seems to enjoy his football. We've given him the platform. He has taken it himself, but we've given him that platform. No one else has taken a chance on him. Let's be honest. There was clubs interested. That always comes out when someone plays well. But no <laughs> yeah. one was actually taking a, a, a punt on him before we did. I think he owes us the chance to get us back up. That would be brilliant. And then I, I'd be. there's no chance. I don't think he's staying in the summer. I think he's far mm-hmm. too good. But like you say, Premier League football could persuade that. I think oh, I, I worry, you know, January is, is a real, <laughs> just let it go, mate. You know, just yeah. go to January sales, do something, just do something with your life that's not football orientated. Yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, I'm sure there'll be loads of transfer room and videos coming from us anyway. Yeah, Always baby. That time, yeah? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they do really well. Um, OK, let's talk about the second half because uh, we came out for the second half and Cardiff had, had come out themselves a bit, hadn't they? They'd pushed press. forward, press tried ball. to press us. It wasn't wasn't great, was it? And uh, I think they played into our hands, really, because we soon fashioned three or four chances quite early on in that second half. Like, like you said, mate, yeah, the, the press was not um, not good enough. It was so yeah. easy to get bypass. And the amount of times we had two, two on two, three on two at times, it was like we just needed to make the final pass. Team who just wasn't on it today, you know, congratulations to his missus for having the kid. Oh, yeah. I think that might have... Um, probably played a part you know there's probably thoughts on the other side it's great to see him play because we need him again you know Jordan Hugel doesn't offer that without Timu without Timu for the first goal that doesn't happen the movement to take the centre yeah. back away is just like we've said so many times his movement is different level and to, today just wasn't his day you know he was never going to score if you gave him six penalties it was just going to be miscontrol nearly with the chip but his yeah. movement again was fantastic and yeah I just He's a wonderful player still, even if he doesn't have the occasional off day. He's allowed that. <laughs> yeah, definitely had an off day. On a, on another day, he scores a hat trick today. Yeah. It's just it was so do the others, mate. So do the others don't know. You know, yeah, Francis just misses the post. Buendia hits one into the side net when we're two 0 up. Todd had a chance at one 0 just before half time. So we literally could have had five or six today. Yeah, and Cardiff, apart from the Sean Morrison headers, really didn't offer a lot at all. And then of course we sort of concrete our win with the second goal. Todd Camwell, he's got so much space, but what a finish. Very reminiscent of the Man U goal, but a bit harder, wasn't it? You know, he had so yeah, much space yeah. from outside the box. And yeah. it was nice to see us have two shots. I'll we'll have to get on to NC, NCFC numbers. When was the last time we won a game by shooting and scoring from outside the box twice? Like, yeah, we've been doing that more point. this season, you know, more with the, uh, apart from Vrancic free kicks, obviously. Yeah. But we have had a lot more shots from outside the box, which is more proactive. Emmy looks more confident. It's a wonderful finish from Todd. I thought he looked really bright today. Protected Sorensen brilliantly. I thought, again, Harry Wilson barely had a sniff. There was a couple of silly fouls on him. But Todd definitely helped there. And on the on the left-hand side, Shea Ojo didn't even want to go at Max Ahrens. No. You can see how, how much respect everyone has for Max Ahrens now that he's like, I'm not going to beat him. There's no point in me even trying to take him on numerous times. There's no, I'm going to lose. So again, yeah, it just shows the, the squad depth and strength. Yeah. I just want to pay particular homage to Wendia for that second goal because... He's such a danger man that he just drags defenders in. And... Four! Four, man! It's it... just outside yeah. the past boot to Kentwell. Like yeah. you say, yeah, it was beautiful. Um, before we go on to say about everyone else, man of the matches, I do want to shout out McLean and Skip. Kenny, yeah. Kenny's come back in for two games after a long injury layoff and been magnificent. 
Mm. We we do doubt sometimes he's probably not good enough for the, the the top top level, but that's fine. We can we can avoid that until we're back there. Today, him and Skip were absolutely brilliant. They're buzzing around everywhere, and again, stop decent midfielders. Joe Rawls scores goals. Marlon Pack was a lovely assist in midweek against uh, for mm. against Birmingham for um, Cardiff's equaliser, and we shut that down immediately. Like we said, they didn't cut us open once. There was nothing, and that was because those two were absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I thought Skip was particularly or showcase. He's always good, but he showcased more of what he can do going forward today. I thought it was he was he was really good again. Um, so that's how it ended two 0 It was pretty comfortable to be honest. Um, should have been more, but we'll, I would have taken two 0 clean sheet at the start of the game without a doubt. Um, it's put up put us six points clear at the top, nine points clear of our next opponents, Watford in third. Jacob, we're sitting pretty, but that is a very interesting game next on Boxing Day. Be very interesting to see what they do today, isn't it? Obviously, we recorded this beforehand. Mm. They don't score many, or don't score enough for, for what we were saying earlier with their attacking out, but but they don't concede many at all. I think if you go away there, and I've said it so many times, and we've got a one anyway, yeah, I'd take a draw. Yeah, <laughs> and you take a draw and don't lose there. But to be fair, the, the gap's so big now, you could probably take that risk. There's a couple of easy easier games afterwards. Mm. We've had such a long long hard December we'd be bloody brilliant the yeah. record would be tremendous and yeah. Daniel Farquhar deserves every credit with what he's done with that squad and the squad deserves credit you know Max Aaron's and Ollie Skip have played every single game hopefully Max is fine that ankle injury should be fine yeah. but and we were saying um whilst in the game how many players have we got to come back so, so many. many players Gibson, Krull, Mumba, Quintia Mumba's. uh Yes, Mumba. Hernandez, Mumba, Sanani, City, Sinani, all out on loan. <laughs> yeah. City, like that's nine off the top of my head, yeah. and we've already probably forgotten loads. Yeah. Um, and it's just tremendous, tremendous quality. If we get all of those back from January to May, we will, we should, be, we'll go up. We'll go yeah. up. I'm not going to try and disrespect this league by saying it's too easy because it's definitely not. Everything's a drag. But that's the strongest squad in this league by an absolute country mile. We're top with 15 injuries, for crying out loud. How on earth we've done that is incredible. Yeah. 43 points, yeah, tremendous. And I'd like to see a couple more games. It was actually really nice the last 20 minutes to, to watch a game and not be um, yeah. heart palpitations. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. You were quite nervous going into the start of December, I remember, because we'd had all the injuries. They were quite fresh at that point. And you were like, mate, this is going to be difficult. It's a long run. December's always difficult, always a key month. And... You know, we're only 19 days through. I'm not getting ahead of myself, but we have done incredibly well the last sort of three weeks, haven't we? Yeah, those those two games, Coventry and Luton, showed how much we need mm-hmm. Timu Puki. Yeah. He is just so key. Again, he's probably knackered after three years of real or two and a half seasons of real, well, every game almost. Yeah. And he, yeah, he is knackered. But you know what? He makes <clears> such a difference. He's the quality at this level just to he makes it all move at the end like like we were saying for the, the goals today his movement just makes it because it drags defenders away and it's just he's just a tremendous player and like you said we have been fantastic for the first 19 days just keep it going you know yeah it's nice to have a week off in it for, for all the players yeah, out there. True. hopefully Watford we uh we go there and, sh- and show what we're about you know mm. I don't think why, why shouldn't we you know show the intent and it's, it's not as big as Leeds away a couple of years ago, but it's a big no. old game. Yeah, no, I feel I feel more confident for that Watford game because we've got a week now, or, you know, pretty much. Um, if it was another midweek fixture, I think I'd take 1-1 there, no worries. And I would take 1-1 there on Boxing Day. But I do think we've got enough about us to nick a 2-1 or something, don't you? I don't see why not. I, yeah. I, I don't see why we don't can't beat anyone in this league at the moment. Yeah. Because the form we're on, Emi Boindia is just yeah he's Premier League quality there's, there's there's splitterings of Premier League quality all around our squad and yeah. when they're on form it just shows like today was so 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 comfortable against a mm. team that will beat a lot of other teams this year you know they'll be top six I would imagine yeah. or in and around it definitely and we made them look bottom half I would mm. say it should have yeah. been a lot more and that was wonderful to see that performance was just pure dominance yeah it was just wonderful to watch Last question. The one thing we're yet to see this season and what has been a brilliant season so far is a real pacing. Hmm. When do you think we're going to absolutely turn a team over three or four? QPR at home. After Watford. Yeah. I'll look at that because Three. they can't defend and I might be horribly wrong. I can't wait for this to come back and bite me on the backside. <laughs> but that could be the pacing because yeah. everyone looks confident. Everyone feels hungry. Today was really good. 
because we just showed we should have scored more. We haven't said that many times this season, really, no. because, because it's such a low block against us. But QPR, I like to play. That's the one I'm going to say. It could yeah. be three or four. Let's hope so. OK, we'll leave it there for now. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. Enjoy the victory. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we'll see you next time after Watford. Top of the league!